Hey everybody, Wonder that always bored, never boring. The other day I was scrolling through Facebook and an advertisement popped up for a company called WePrintMiniatures.com and I will include the link to their company site in the video description below. As their name suggests, WePrintMiniatures.com is a miniatures manufacturer. They do print on demand and they have a number of different designers producing miniatures for all kinds of genres, predominantly fantasy and science fiction in 32 millimeter scale. The advertisement in question was for a random selection of three 32mm scale miniatures, which would apparently all come from their best-selling ranges. In effect, it's a miniatures loot crate. The cost was $9.95, with an additional $1.95 for postage in the UK, so I thought, what the heck, it would be fun to order one of these boxes and open it on camera, just to see what we get. So I placed my order and I will stress I used my own money for this. This is not a sponsored video. I am not producing this in association with the company. And just two days later, my items arrived. So I can't really complain about the service relating to how quickly they got these products out to me. These miniatures sell for eight to 10 pounds each. So at 9.95 plus postage for this box, even if just one of them is something that I can use in ranges of Shadow Deep or Dungeons and Dragons, it's a worthwhile endeavor. Let's take a look. Our first miniature is a female football player for a fantasy football game. Think Blood Bowl, Blitz Bowl, Dread Bowl, whatever. Very nicely detailed. Pretty clean in terms of the actual sculpt. There's not a lot of flashing or anything on there. It's a little bit on the face there that would need cleaning up. All of these miniatures are supposed to be 32 millimeter scale. She seems a little bit big at that, but roughly I would say about right. We can see there she's about 32 millimeters to the eyes, but that is largely down to her running pose. If she was standing upright, she would be much taller than that. Unfortunately, I don't have any of my Blood Bowl miniatures to hand at the moment. I've lent them to a friend, but I think she would stand quite nicely in any human team. That's not a bad miniature. It's probably not something that I would personally use. I'm not really playing Blood Bowl anymore. But that's nice enough. This is our second miniature and I would say this is my favorite of the bunch. Really nicely detailed again. It's some kind of steampunk hero. I think this is basically Jim Sterling, isn't it? Um, nice top hat. Seem to have a deck of cards. Kind of got that steampunk circus performer look going on to it. But really quite big. I would say this is more than 32 millimeter. We're actually at about 36 millimeters to eye height. Let's compare her to some other miniatures. Okay, so she's actually comparable size to Slambo. And she certainly looks like she could stand up to the Chaos Ogryn from Blackstone Fortress. Elder Scrolls Call to Arm miniatures are supposed to be 32mm scale and she absolutely dwarfs this Draugr. But overall I would say that's a nice miniature if just uh, scaled a little bit too big really. Not that I worry too much about scaling to be honest. I, I throw all different types of scales on the table together when I play things like Range of the Shadow Deep. When you're in the middle of a game it doesn't often look that obvious that things are in different scales. And here is our last miniature, and I have to wonder if perhaps someone in the packing department was having a little bit of a giggle when they saw my last name was Outlaw, because we have a female gunslinger here, although she has uh, twin double-barreled shotguns. Again, it's a very nicely detailed miniature. I think if she had been wearing just a traditional Wild West outfit, this would have been my favorite of the bunch. Very nicely detailed though. And again, quite tall. We are at about 35 millimeters to eye height. Overall, a very nicely done miniature, very nicely sculpted, but not particularly to my tastes and uh, not something I think I can easily use. But there we have it, three randomly selected miniatures from weprintminiatures.com. What do I think? I think they're very nicely made. They have really crisp detailing and there doesn't appear to be a lot of cleanup on them. They have a lot of character. They're very interesting. 
While I don't generally clutch my pearls and get too worried about too much over sexualization in miniatures, it's not my particular preference in terms of style, so none of these are particularly leaping out at me as being things that I would actually go out and choose to purchase. And although I think they're nicely done, I guess my overall sense is a little bit of disappointment in as much as I know that WePrintMiniatures.com have a lot of fantasy and science fiction stuff, and I could have used pretty much any of the stuff from those ranges, but what they've sent is, I would say, three more niche market products. We have Steampunk, Wild West, or possibly Weird West, and Fantasy Football. And I think for a blind grab bag, they might have been better off sticking to fantasy and science fiction, which are perhaps a little bit easier to integrate into various different miniatures agnostic game systems like Rangers of Shadow Deep. But I guess that's it from me. What does everybody else think? Leave your impressions in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. If you've enjoyed the video, please consider pressing the like button. If you really enjoyed the video, please consider subscribing if you don't already do so. And hopefully, I'll see you all again very soon. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye.